hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a video on nude palettes or neutral palettes and i'm going to show you five of my absolute favorites which are actually five of the only ones that i own because usually when i buy palettes i do my research first and then i would buy it there's no way i'm going to be spending a lot of money probably like 50 us almost on a palette if i am not absolutely sure that i really really want it so i'm just going to jump right into it my first ever neutral palette would have to be one from sleek and this one is the storm palette now when i first started with makeup i always believed well hey if i'm going to be buying makeup i want it to be bright colors i want to be seen what is the point of putting all this effort into makeup if nobody is going to see me and granted that is a bit weird you shouldn't really think of it that way but um i know some of you out there will understand what i'm saying so i'm sure it has been done to death on youtube but this is what it looks like um, it has the top well let me put it this way rather the top row has a lot of neutral colors like browns and beiges and golds and then the bottom row gets a little bit darker and it has this kind of coppery color silver green blue um, this one is a really nice crease color for darker color girls and a matte black I know a lot of people were complaining about the quality of the matte black uh, but I think it's fine truthfully it does really well as a liner if you don't want to use like a pencil or a liquid liner um, to me this palette is worth the money it was about I think seven or nine pounds so it was pretty much eight pounds you can buy them online um, but I know the shipping is horrendous so um, I'm gonna link it down below if anything or if you have a friend who lives in the UK Get them to buy it and send it to you because i think it's worth it this palette is absolutely beautiful and i did the look that i have on today using this one and also the next palette that i'm going to show you and this one is the wet and wild palette this one is called comfort zone i'll be honest i own three of the wet and wild palettes and what they term as brow bone is just i just can't I can't deal with this shimmeriness I don't know if you can be able you see that I can't deal with this this shimmer I just it's so frosty that is not a highlight color to me you know I like my matte highlights so that's why I used it with the um, sleek what's this called again sorry any storm palette I put these two together to create this look that I have on it's very neutral but it's kind of shimmery um, these colors are absolutely beautiful i wouldn't use them in the way that they have them marked so here brow bone eyelid crease um or definer but this is also a really good palette for dark skin girls who want neutrals they show up very well they're very pigmented um just when you sweat your brush in them just make sure you tap off the excess or you will have some follow on your cheeks this is also good for women of color all of these palettes are so those are my two drugstore are more affordable um, kind of palettes that I have. I'm just going to wipe my hands off. Give me a second. The next palette I'm going to show you is the Stila in the No palette. Now, I was very interested in the Stila in the Light palette. And um, somehow, I really wanted a palette that was matte. And this palette had everything. It has a huge mirror here. Well, not really huge but a really good size mirror to do your makeup um and these are the colors here you have a lot of lighter colors and this one is the darkest in a bunch on the top great for um high highlight colors uh, for your eyebrow or if you want to put it all over the lid or the inner corner and then at the bottom it gets a little bit darker and that's where the colors definitely start to vary like this one is a nice chocolate brown this one is kind of like a red kind of orange color um this one is another brown which is a little bit lighter than this one and a little bit more cool tone at least to me this one here is a gray and this is a black but to me um this black isn't a hundred percent like really really dark even like the black that's in the storm palette but it still does the job um this brown up here is the darkest one i probably would have rearranged the bottom from lightest to darkest I don't really have a problem with how it's arranged i mean that honestly would be nitpicking it really would be nitpicking but i love this palette because it is all matte to me i can create a look with all matte palette um it's high end and 
it's a little bit chalky but they are very pigmented when you dip it into the shadows make sure you tap off your brush to make sure you don't get any fallout underneath your eye but otherwise i think you need to just use this with a primer all these other palettes you definitely would want to use it with a primer the wet and wild one i know will show up without a primer but it's definitely about longevity these ones show up well too um without primer and i know some people i think it's this palette that say that you can use it wet but it, it gives it more of a spanish kind of finish i haven't personally used it that way but i will actually test it out on camera if you guys want me to do like maybe an individual review on each of these palettes to get a little bit more in depth i can do that and um it also comes with a liner and this liner is in half moon which is a gray and um i can't say that i really like this gray liner i have to find uses for it if i was um a little bit lighter skin it would show up a little bit better on me but it does come off more light which is not totally horrible you can you can be creative with it but um i would prefer if it was probably a black or if it was a dark brown a dark brown would have probably been a little bit more useful and it also comes with this little booklet that shows you different looks you can create which are very simple very easy to follow um a lot of them are using the dark colors on the lid and blend it out you know um this first one is ready for somebody who's a little bit lighter but you can obviously swap out the darker crease color for something a little bit more dark they have that in the palette you have nothing to worry about and um, this is very useful especially for a beginner so if you're a beginner definitely use the little card thing um yeah you can get some great ideas in here the next palette i'm going to talk about is the new tooth palette I want to say that I have a love-hate relationship with this palette, but um, it's not particularly hate. It is simply because it does not have a matte highlight. And I know I'm going on and on and on about a matte highlight, but that is the only thing I don't really like about this palette. Um, it has a huge mirror. Like, this mirror is going to blind y'all people, so I'm just going to put it back. It has a huge mirror that takes up pretty much the back of the flap that covers and then on the inside uh yeah there's some half naked girls but we can just ignore the half naked girls because this channel is not about that okay good um the colors are beautiful i know they have two windows here and they are blinding y'all people with all the brightness and the naked girls it, sorry sorry <gasps> these colors are absolutely beautiful i hope that you guys can see them but you start with a matte sorry not even a matte a very shimmery white it goes into a peach kind of like a taupey kind of shimmery brown um a little darker shimmery brown this one is a beautiful red and it's matte that one and then you have Sirius, which is a black which didn't swatch so well but it's not too bad the matte colors i do find to be a bit dry um you have to work with them but they are pigmented just have to you know swirl it around your brush a little bit more um in this palette you get one two three four matte colors and you get two four six eight ten twelve colors in total so four out of twelve it's not too bad but you know the colors i was a little worried that these colors right here like one two three four were kind of similar and then you put them on your lids you blend them out and they just look like one big mess um that is what i was kind of worried about in this palette and then over here there's a shimmery pink and a yellow and i just feel like i needed a lighter color that was not shimmery that would have been really nice um for the darker girls hair you have this nice brown which is definitely something you could blend between the crease and the brow highlight and then you have this really dark brown that is sleek or you can even use sexy and of course serious to darken up the outer corner um yeah i do like this palette the only thing i don't like about it is because it does not have a lighter highlight that is not shimmery um i would use these very very light handedly especially white if you're going to use it as a highlight girl just be careful before you end up looking like some kind of snow dry queen kind of thing unless of course that's the look you're going for then all right you chicky whatever um overall i'm gonna have to say that i do like this palette only thing is the matte highlight is missing for me even if it was white i would try my best to mix the white with this brown 
and we will have something, honey. I mean, this brown, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's, it's almost very cool tone. To be very honest, I probably could use this as a highlight. Um, it'll be very natural, and I prefer my highlights a little bit lighter. And this one comes with a brush that is horrible. Sorry. This liner brush is too soft, and this thing for putting on color, I, you know, I leave it in there simply because. But otherwise, um, yeah, palette is nice and thin, great for traveling. Most of these palettes are great for traveling, to be very honest. And now I'm going to come down to my absolute favorite one that I was craving, and I bought this for my birthday in June. And everyone and their mother has this palette. And if you do not have this palette, you need to go and get this palette. If there is no other matte, um, shimmery, but yet still neutral palette that you need to have, the Lorac Pro is it. It has everything that you could possibly need. And it comes with its own um, eyeshadow primer, which is great. The behind the scenes primer. That primer is great. I mean, seriously, that's the bomb.com. So, when you open it, it has a mirror at the top here, which is pretty good. It is a big mirror. Um, but the most beautiful thing about this is the way that it's laid out. It has 16 colors. 16 colors. And the top row is completely matte. You hear what I tell you? Completely matte. And the black is in that matte. Are you get me? You understand what I'm saying? The bottom is shimmery, but they're also very neutral, and that is what makes this palette ever so beautiful to me. I absolutely needed this palette in my life. It is lightweight. It is so easy to travel with. It has a beautiful white color, which actually, to be honest, it has fine, fine little glitters in it, but it will be mostly considered a matte. Then it goes into a cream color that has a slightly pinky tone to me, kind of peachy. Um, taupe is a good blending out color. If you're really dark, you can use that as a highlight that is more natural. Like pink, mauve, sable, espresso, and black. And that black is really dark. Then at the bottom here, you get a nude, which is a pinkish kind of shimmery color. Champagne, which is a champagne color with a slight hint of pink in it. Um, gold, which is a very kind of like an aged kind of gold. It's not a bright, um like gold colored earrings and that kind of thing it's more like a older weather kind of gold like bronze is exactly as it says pewter um is a kind of brown with like a little bit of shimmer in it um it has a slight pink tone to it garnet is like a reddish kind of burnt copper i want to say um deep purple is just that and slate is a nice um shimmery dark gray these colors are absolutely beautiful and i do find myself reaching for this palette i really do have to stop and see if i can use something else but it is complete for me in that it has the light highlight it has a lighter dark brown and a darker one so if you definitely want to start with that light that light brown color to just put in the crease and then you can dark deepen up the crease a little bit with that espresso color and then you can go all out and put the black in um the names are very simple and they do exactly um explain what they are to me this palette is worth the 42 dollars and i'm gonna put the price somewhere in the screen to make sure that you can um go check it out i'm gonna put some links below where i got mine from i got this one for amazon for 42 dollars and yeah i believe i got everything the new two the stila um and this guy from amazon but the other two, uh, I got the sleek one in England when I went to England. I bought this myself. And the wet and well, when my aunt went to Miami, I got her to bring back all three for me. So, um, one last thing. I'm just going to put an honorable mention. Um, I know a few months ago, I did a video on Colorful Online. And they uh, had a Naked 2 replica. And I bought that one. Now, for me these colors are a bit cool and like cool tone and my biggest issue with them is that you do not get a lot of matte shades you only get three matte shades i was going to say two three matte shades um foxy tease and black hole everybody and their mother has done a video on the naked too but this is not the real one but i'm thinking i'm really seriously thinking about buying it um 
but I don't know. I really don't reach for this palette simply because I I don't get a lot of use out of it, honestly. Some of the colors seem samey samey, but it could be because it is a knockoff and not the original. So it, maybe if it was the original, it would be um a little bit better quality. Um, I do appreciate that you get a black in it, but some of these colors I felt as though they could have put something a little bit more different in it. But I do like Foxy being a matte highlight and Tease is just not dark enough for me to use as a crease color. But I know for my latest skin girls that you could. And um, of course it comes with a two headed brush. And I know I can't compare it to the original but I think it would be kind of useful. I suppose. Um, I have used it and it's worked pretty good for me. So on and all that is my take on neutral palettes for dark skin girls i hope that this video helped in some kind of way remember to click like and subscribe and i will see y'all guys next time bye